Hello guys, we're going to mod the Moxie 3 a little bit further because there's still something to do on our policies. Actually, there's two things to do. Um, there's a slider to create and then there's an icon to create. Um, as you can see on desktop, I already went ahead and uh, did some of that, but we'll start with the slider because, as I said, I think at the end of the last video, a slider is actually pretty much the same as a policy. So right here you have the sliders CSV, and I'm just going to copy that into the Monkey Island folder, which is in simulations, right here, and then we're going to look at it. Well, actually, that's a stupid idea. No. No, no, no. We're going to open it up here, and then we're going to copy it into the simulation thing as a new tab. Right, so these are all the sliders that are in-game. We're going to take a look at that in a second. Let me just pop up a new one and save as democracy 3 data simulation um, as a CSV and this is going to be sliders.csv right okay uh, yeah, yeah 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 go ahead go ahead sure 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 whatever right and now we're gonna make this a little bit smaller so we can actually see both at the same time okay so this is our sliders CSV and we're only going to need the first row because we only have naval spending enabled so far. So again, just as with the policies, if you don't put a hashtag right there, it's not going to get loaded, so put the hashtag there. Um, then the name for the slider, which is going to be uh, naval, or navy, I guess. We, we just call it navy. And I'll, I'll type it lowercase just, just in case. All right. Then there comes a thing that's called discrete or percentage. We are going to go for discrete. Otherwise, um, it'll just show percentages, uh, probably. Do I need to write this in caps lock? I don't think that I do, but, you know, just that it all looks the same. Um, percentage you see with all the tags, which kind of changes how the thing behaves, because um, you see here everything that's that's put into uh, put onto the slider. Right here is our default slider, which says just none, low, medium, and so on and so forth. On the percentage sliders, right here, inheritance tax, you actually see nothing but a number. This is the maximum number. If you pull that slider all the way to the right, it's going to say 75%. For income tax, it's going to say 90%. For most of the other taxes, it's going to say 50%. So this only happens if you put it on percentage, which is nothing that we want to do at this point. But later, I'll want to uh, add a plunder tax or a loot tax. Haven't decided on a name yet. Um, and then I'll probably like to put something like this uh, in a percentage way. Right, now, in this next column, we see a couple of numbers, and we're going to put zero. What this actually does is it creates certain uh, clamps. I think the, uh, the internet manual refers to it to clamp them to a series of fixed options, right? So this is, for instance, gun laws. You see, if we search for, well, we don't search for, right there, ah, there we are, gun laws, seven. So this means there are seven fixed options I can choose from. No limits, no machine guns, no automatics, license required, license to minimum age, strict controls, and total ban. This is certainly nice for a couple of policies, like law type of things where you can only where you cannot have you know like a 20% law or a 25% law no you can you can only have certain steps in a way um, interestingly enough things like death penalty aren't working with such a clamp system but they are just working regularly uh, the more the more money you put in basically the <laughs> more it gets used uh, which is sort of the wrong approach for death penalty, but anyways. Um, but this is something that we don't want to have for naval spending. Naval spending needs to be flowing. We need to have total control over how many, mo how much money we want to put in and uh, what effect we want to have with that. So, since we put here zero, we're just going to put all the names that should appear. And the game automatically, and I thought that you could change that manually, but the game automatically... Um, sorts through all of these well that's not uh, that's the wrong word what am I searching for it uh, it divides the slider into into parts into equal parts and every part gets one of those so 
This slider has five parts. This slider has six parts, which doesn't mean it's, it's any bigger, but the parts themselves are actually just smaller. And there's no way for you to control that. So you can't just say, okay, from 0 to 10%, I want this, but then I'll want the next part to be, I don't know, from 20 to 40%. That's not possible. It's going to divide them equally along the slider. And that's okay, I guess. I mean, uh, dividing them up by percent on the slider would maybe be nicer for some stuff, but it will also be a lot more complicated. So we're actually just going to put a couple of things here. And as I said, the reason I do this is because I want this to feel like you're actually changing something. If it only says none, low, or medium, when well, well, I can't think... I can't imagine what that means. If your naval, naval spending is low, what does that mean? No. What we want to put here are different types of ships. So we're going to go with, well, it's actually not a ship. We're going to go with rafts for the last one. So if we put the slider to 0 to 20%, we're going to have rafts. Which, of course, we're not going to have rafts, but it's just, you know, showing you at which level the Navy operates if it has to use rafts. The next one is going to be speedboats. I should probably, just to make that look nicer, type it all in caps lock. So, right, uh, speedboats. Then, uh, well, my naval knowledge is failing me. What's bigger? Cru no, cruisers. Uh, I'm going to go with cruisers. Cruisers, frigates. And then probably I'll put the last one at... Should I put it at Grand Navy or maybe Armada? I like the word Armada, actually, but I think I'll go with Grand Navy. Or Grand Fleet, rather. Alright. So, what do we have here? We have a total of... And it's silly for me to mess around with that because there will be other policies who need more space. But anyways, um, so that's where we are. This is going to be our slider. It's going to have five elements, if I didn't miscount, right? So every 20% of the slider are going to say something different. It's going to be rafts, speedboats, cruisers, frigates, and then Grand Fleet. Maybe I'll find something else for frigates. I mean, frigates are, as far as I know, the biggest ship type, uh, the biggest sort of battleship type because they decommissioned battleships. Battleships are just too heavy and too slow, so I think the biggest um, fighting ship type that's built is the frigate, if I remember correctly. I think I read that somewhere, uh, because battleships are just too inefficient. But anyway, so um, if it's wrong, I'm going to change that. Well, when we come to the icon, you see that there's still going to be a lot of changing, because the icon looks ridiculous. All right, so we call that slider navy. So far, we're done here. We're going to say that. Um, no, wait, we already have it. We just can do Control S, right? But now we actually need to tell the policy to use the slider, because right now it says default, and we're going to change that to Navy. This is the one part of the tutorial that I haven't checked, so I really hope it's working. But we're not going to look at it now, because there's a second thing we want to do, and this is the icon. And I've already went ahead and, and done much of the icon, but I'm going to explain to you what I've done. So, icons are from the DSS type, DDS type, sorry, which already presents a problem. Now, I used GIMP, and GIMP is a fine program but it cannot handle DDS on its own. It needs a certain plugin. If you look in the forums, there's already a lot of that. And if I, um, I remember, I'll actually put the link down in the video description. So, right here, I've gone ahead and created a template DDS, which is what we're going to look at now. So I'm going to load the Navy file, which um, XCF, this is a, a GIMP file that has not been exported yet. Right, so, first of all, let me preface this uh, with saying that, well, firstly, this is supposed to be a ship. And uh, secondly, I am a horrible drawer. And thirdly, GIMP does not help. I hate drawing anything with GIMP or painting or whatever you want to call it. So, well, 
this this is my icon, believe it or not. Uh, we're actually going to load up the template here, so you can look at that, which is just an empty space. If you load a DDS, this should pop up, at least it does with my plugin, but I do think that there's only one big plugin for GIMP that allows you to mess around with DDS. And this is just that. That's 128 times 128 pixels of nothingness. And then you just paint it in in white. That's important because at the end it's going to be inverted, so everything you see here that's white is going to be black in game. Um, so this is just a template, and I actually didn't create the template myself. I once again went into the folder of another mod, I think the Austria mod, who had a neutrality .dds because they used their own custom icons, and I just copied that and and you know erased everything, and that's now my template. So I I went ahead and cheated, of course. Um, right, and if you export that uh, via via Navy dot xcf it is going to look exactly the same right so no difference there but you cannot open the dds without a plugin so you see this only already has a very peculiar name and um there's a reason to that because there's actually nothing to tell this policy that it should use this icon the game does it on its own as long as it has the right name which kind of screwed me because once I had I once once again I had a, a little bit of a typo going on, um, and uh, I actually called it naval spending, so it wouldn't catch on to the icon. But what you actually do is so now you 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 paint around here and you, you create this icon, and when you're done, you simply put it into your mod data bitmaps policies. This is a new folder. I think we didn't create that in the original run, so you might have to create that as well and then you call it icons underline and the name of your policy not the GUI name which is just for a graphical user interface which is what GUI means but uh, the name you actually gave it in the policies list in the very first column well I guess the very first column was a hashtag so the second column um, and it, that's it you don't need to hook it up to the actual policy the policy will search for icons itself and if it finds one that has the same name it's just going to adapt that so uh, creating icons actually a lot easier than I thought um, just different from creating policies and sliders but still easy once you've gotten around the whole uh, find a decent plugin get a program that's that's working which is GIMP I, uh, well I'm, I'm I'm pretty happy that I still had GIMP I don't know why I have this I used it in school years ago but um, I still had it on my computer for whatever reason and uh, it was quite easy finding a plugin for it so I could actually edit DDS um, and that's it actually and we're going to look at it right now so um, I'm sorry I had to go ahead and, and you know draw the icon and make sure this all works because I did not want to do it right here I was quite confident in getting the slider first at the right time uh, the slider the slider right at the first time wow that was a hiccup um, so yeah now well of course since I said that probably the slider is going to be fucked up I can see that already but um, I'll see you in game and hopefully everything will work so until then sometimes I love myself oh man it's working it is working so smoothly okay new game monkey island didn't change anything here I think uh, I didn't really go ahead and and you know polished things there has been a great idea suggested by one guy to actually change um, change the name of um, yourself from the pirate lord but you'll see that when we get to it um, there's been a lot of great suggestions actually I just found out that someone posted one of the videos into the democracy forums um, which of course is is no problem. I mean, if if I had a problem with people showing off uh, this democracy modding, then I wouldn't have made the videos in the first place. So it's not not hard to guess which one is mine. As I said, it looks it's just way too tiny. I had no idea how how to really you know go ahead with the measurements of of this whole thing. I'll have to thicken it up. But you see, it actually loads the icon. It's also a bit a bit you know low it's not it's not in the middle of the icon and I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen because you cannot see what I'm doing with my hands 
Um, but actually, I I went ahead. I made it, you know, a bit a bit weaker. Um, it's still ridiculously strong, actually, but you know, uh, at least for this cost. But you say the slider, uh, it works. Rafts, speedboats, cruisers, frigates, and the Grand Fleet, and roughly everything about that is 20%. Well, not roughly. I mean, for the game, exactly, it's it's 20%. But I cannot measure it, so I guess everything is about 20%. Um, and right now it's in frigates, which is actually quite nice. Um, yeah, you see, it, it's going to need a bigger description, and it, it shows my miniatures again. I still don't know why it did that. The last time I, I showed something off, right at the end of the video, uh, right at the, at the end of the policies video, it wouldn't display my miniatures. But I have no idea why. It's never done that again. I went ahead uh, to, you know, Fix, uh, fix the naval spending and fix some minor stuff. So I, I went back into the game like 20 minutes after I, I finished the policies video and again it worked. So I don't know what did that but it's gone now so I guess it's fine. We also of course uh, need to, whoops that was the wrong thing, uh, need to make a names list which is just a text file in which you put certain names because they all still have the uh, the German names which do not fit anyhow maybe maybe I'll just take the uh, the names file from I don't know the Argentina mod and just you know mod it slightly because it's still a Caribbean island so uh, some Spanish names wouldn't hurt for sure um, but yeah that's it so this is our first finished policy I'm pretty proud actually that I've managed to pull that off um, because I was really at a loss for how to how to do all that but I had great help from the forums actually every question that I wanted to ask had been asked on the forums and once again I have to say this is an incredibly easy game to mod once you've figured out how everything works it's it's so easy it's it's so easy to understand it's just so logical so um, yeah, this is Naval Spending, our first completed policy with a shitty icon but a nice slider. And uh, what are we going to do next time? Well, next time around, I actually want to create a simulation. And simulations are those buttons, the big blue ones. So those are just buttons that will be influenced by policies, but you can't change them yourselves. Those are policies. So maybe we'll create a, uh, not policies, simulation. Maybe we'll create a simulation. Maybe we will create a situation, which are those. But there's also positive situations. So the, the green things are positive situations, like uh, technological advantage or high productivity. Uh, but the thing I'm really looking forward to is making a simulation that says uh, piracy. Just as there is international trade and foreign relations, I'd like to have piracy. Unfortunately, the foreign policy is a, is a quite small part of the screen, so maybe I'll put piracy into economy? Because it's going to factor into our economy, but on the positive side, because in this case, we are the pirates, so of course it's going to help our economy. Um, piracy, I'd like to... to um, to uh, increase all the uh, earnings with piracy, also the general GDP, but at the same time, of course, it's going to bash onto our international relations, our foreign relations, and also our trade, unless we can secure the trade by our own fleet. So um, it's going to be a, a, a double-edged sword. Do you want international trade and foreign relations, or do you want piracy? But at least for the foreign relations part, I'd like to um, add a policy which uh, is called, um, I don't know, something along the lines of um, Fake Anti-Piracy Act. So we're actually going to put up an act that we try, quote-unquote, to fight piracy, but it's all just fake. It, it's, it's all just propaganda for the, for the other nations, so it will do nothing but, you know, give you a little boost to foreign relations, but in fact it's, it's going to do nothing for your piracy, and the whole, it's like a nationwide secret. The whole nation knows that there's nothing going on. It's just propaganda and, and setups and, you know, tricks, but, but it will help you foreign relations because they think you're fighting your piracy program when uh, your, your piracy problem when actually you're embracing it so that's one policy I'm really looking forward to and uh, of course the piracy slider uh, the piracy slider the piracy simulation itself 
as well as certain uh, situations like a golden age of piracy or an, an influx of, uh, of mighty uh, captains or whatever. Um, I'd like to create some of those situations. So yeah, those are going to be the next steps. I, I figure that's going to take me a couple of days. Um, I, I'll have, I have to apologize. I, it took me quite some days to make this video because, uh, well, Batman Arkham Origins happened, which is an amazing game. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, it was a weekend, there was a lot of partying going on, so I didn't really feel like doing it on Sunday, I just spent the whole Sunday in my bathrobe playing Batman, uh, Batman Arkham Origins, and, uh, actually yesterday as well, because today is Tuesday, what did I do yesterday? I think I just played <laughs> Arkham Origins, so yeah, I'm sorry, um, this took quite some time, and I think that situations or simulations will probably take me again a couple of times too to get them right. So I'll see you when I see you. Until then, good hunting.